powerful images here. Uh, again, you're watching the uh, live funeral procession for Lieutenant Eric Lloyd from the Metropolitan Police Department who lost his life last month at the age of 53 to complications of COVID-19. We're bringing you coverage all morning long of this funeral for Lieutenant Eric Lloyd. And uh, I believe we have a Nevada Assemblyman Tom Roberts on the phone right now. Tom, if you can hear me, uh, thank you so much for taking the time. Did you at all have the chance to meet uh, Lieutenant Lloyd? And, and what was that like if you did? Uh, well, thank you first for having me on this morning, and thank you for airing uh, this uh, procession for, for Eric. Uh, yeah, I, I worked with Eric for the last 28 years. Uh, we worked together in uh, narcotics uh, when I was first transferred there. He was already there. And then for the past years, uh, we worked together in a variety of assignments uh, throughout his uh, time and my time at Metro. He's a good man. You know, uh, we mentioned this earlier Metro officers, police departments, they have this tight knit community, this family community serving shoulder to shoulder with each other and going out into the community every day to protect and serve. Can you tell us a little more about how his passing has impacted the department as a whole and you yourself? Well, I think from a from a whole standpoint, is he really touched a lot of people, uh, not only on the department, but in our community. As as you, I think you've, you've been talking about, he was the president of the Injured Police Officers Fund. He did a lot of work uh, to help assist the families of police officers slain in the line of duty. And, you know, he's raised a, a, a tremendous amount of money over the years. And I, I think that the impact that he had will will carry way past uh, probably my presence and his presence here in the community. So he, he really did a lot there. But he, he was also a, a father, a husband, a baseball or softball coach, and, and a, a peer and a mentor to many people in the department, in, including me. When I first went to narcotics, he had been there, and I looked up to the guy. You know, he he was a tenured a, a, a tenured detective and with a lot of respect and admiration by others in the, in, the, in the department. He'll be missed. Since you said you looked up to him, uh, is there something in particular that he taught you that you keep with you as you move forward day to day? I, I tell you, he, he's the kind of guy that uh, didn't rattle under pressure, uh, was always calm, uh, was uh, always had a good head on his shoulders, uh, and you know, he brought see, whatever whatever we were doing as a, as a department. You know, throughout his career, he was always uh, somebody that uh, that you looked up to, that you knew when he was there, he was in charge, and that he was going to do the right thing, and uh, and everything was going to be all right. That's just the kind of guy he, he is. Nevada Assemblyman Tom Roberts joining us on the phone right now. Uh, Tom, you mentioned uh, Officer Lloyd's, excuse me, Lieutenant Lloyd's work with the Injured Police Officers Fund and, and serving as the president of that fund and just raising so much money over the years for these families of fallen officers. Did you ever get a sense of why that was so important to Lieutenant Lloyd? Well, I, I, I think he's the kind of person, as, as, as you mentioned, he's the per, kind of person that puts himself above others and, uh, he he not only had assignments and jobs that required a lot of call out and time time away, but he he still continued to do things that he that he loved and he was passionate about, and I think that was right up there with the with one of the top ones because he just cared about other police officers and their families and what they would go through in times like these, and uh, yeah, I just think that's just the kind of person he had. He had a big heart. You know, and as we were watching the procession live, we have about 10 different jurisdictions. So um, I'm kind of curious to know, uh, we know that this is considered a line of duty death and we're seeing this procession with all of these different officers and community members taking part in this. What message is this sending to the community about the person he was? Well, I, I think it, it tells you that, hey, look, he's not just another police officer uh, that serve in our community. Uh, you know, he's much more than that. He, he meant a lot to a lot of people. He sacrificed his life to serve our community. And, and not only that, you know, I, he's there for others uh, as a coach, a mentor, a father, a grandfather, uh, you, you know, and, and, and a, a president of an organization that just did so many things for others. And, you know, I, I think it, 
I think it just sends a message that, you know, our police officers matter, and especially uh, not only the good ones, but the great ones uh, like Eric. And Assemblyman Roberts, you mentioned uh, the good ones. I mean, policing has become really divisive uh, in, in the past couple of months, but you mentioned that this is an example of not just a good police officer, but a great one. Is this the kind of role model that you put up there as this is what all Metro officers should be striving to be? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, it, it, that's, I think that's what separates the, the good ones. Look, we got a lot of a good and great police officers in our community. Uh, what separates the good ones from the great ones are, are, you know, the good ones go to work, they do their job, they serve, they serve our community well, and they, they do a good job. The great ones go above and beyond that, and they do things in our community, and they strive to make our community better. They put others before themselves and everything that they do, and, and Eric epitomizes that standard. I, you know, I don't know if we asked you already, but um, since you knew him personally, have you touched base with his wife, with his family? Um, if you have, can you tell us a little bit about how they're doing? Well, I saw, you know, I, I, I've known her just as long as I have Eric, uh, Mindy, his wife. Uh, I saw her yesterday at, at the viewing. Uh, they seem to be holding up uh, as well as, as you can be, uh, imagine is be expected. This is obviously something tragic for them. They have a great support system. Uh, Eric's family is here. Mindy's family is here. And, you know, and they'll, they'll get through this. But, but I think the community uh, support that you see here today and just the fact that you guys are airing this, I, I think will we'll go a long way in uh, celebrating the, the life of, uh, of their loved one and uh, our respected uh, police officer, uh, Lieutenant Eric Lloyd. Nevada Assemblyman Tom Roberts, uh, I think it's safe to say you knew Lieutenant Lloyd well, and we really appreciate um, just giving us that insight into the kind of man and, and metropo uh, metropolitan police officer that he was and, and someone that we should all strive to be more like. Thank you so much for those anecdotes, and, and uh, stay safe and, and um, be well with your morning. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me on. Of course, we appreciate it.